Hi, I'm Moy, Cynthia Abyssia, and you're watching the MMA Roundtable. And today we're going to be talking about the Ultimate Fighter Finale 18, Team Tate vs. Team Rousey. And one of the fights on this card is going to be a featherweight fight between Akira Khorasani versus Maximo Blanco. For both fighters, this will be their third fight in the UFC. Akira Khorasani was um, a contestant in the Ultimate Fighter Season 14. Um, you know, Team Bisping and Team Miller. He was um, on Team Bisping and um, he got knocked out by Brian Carraway. But um, since then, he's had a two-fight winning streak in the UFC. He won his first match against um, Andy Ogle and then he won against Robbie Peralta, which was a brilliant win in my opinion because um, Robbie Peralta was coming off a a proper brilliant knockout win against Jason Young. And um when when um he, when Akira fought him, Akira stayed away from his power brilliantly. He showed technical striking, you know he's a um black belt in type one though, so you could see he he was adding he was keeping the pressure up, he was staying away from um Robbie Peralta's um power very well. But now he's going to be facing Maximo Blanco, who's a good freestyle wrestler, you know. And um, I like to see how this one goes because he he fights out of um, Team Team Jackson. Now Maximo Blanco um, lost to Marcus Brimage, who was also a um, contestant on the Ultimate Fighter season fourteen. But then he won. A uh, unanimous decision against um, Sam C C C Cecilia, <laughs> and um, this is going to be a match that could um, whoever wins it will raise them up the ladder. So, if I have a pre if I have a prediction to w who would be winning this one, um. I know that Akira is a black belt type one though, but he's also a purple belt in in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and I think he showed a very good ground game in um, the Andy Andy Ogle fight. But um, I wonder how is he going to go against a good freestyle wrestler like Maximo Blanco? I don't know. I don't know too much about Maximo Blanco, but I can see yeah that he might be a tough test. Tough, a tough test here for Akira, but I have a feeling, yeah, that um, Akira is probably going to handle it very well. So I'm going to give this match here to Akira um, Korosani. That's my prediction for this fight, and remember, it's November the thirtieth. Don't forget to tune in. Yeah, see you soon.